Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you, Janet Mithsas. I'm Charlie. I'm Lauren. Together, we've shared our lives online. Oh, what? <laughs> I never woke up one day and went, I know what I want to do, I want to be an influencer. It wasn't my goal. I was just always open about my transition story and people liked that. Social media became our full-time jobs and opened a lot of doors for us. Me and Charlie bought our first home together. This is where we're gonna start our family. I would like to be involved in the creation of making a baby. We're gonna use his eggs inside of me. I was definitely naive about the situation. Having children with somebody that's transgender takes a lot of planning. It's a very expensive process. That's why we want to invest the money that we've made online into a real life business venture. An inclusive beauty salon that caters to people like us. We are not your average couple. It's my belly button. <laughs> Just, you can't swear. And this is not your average family. Hi guys. So today for the first time in like eight months, I've went back on testosterone. If you know me, you'll know that me and my girlfriend are going to go through for topical IVF where they use my egg. Um, about a week ago, I got some results back and they weren't the best. I'm no longer using my egg. I'll still be a dad another way, another day. Distraught, like both of us, just so, so upset. Um, so now it's back to the drawing board. Um, it will be my eggs with a sperm donor. Charlie was so cute earlier. I was just like, I'm just so glad we've still got each other. Oh, I love that boy so much. We're devastated, but as one door closes, another one opens. We've been trying to get our inclusive salon off the ground for the last year, and the keys to the property are ready to pick up. Can I open it? You can open it. Thank you. Right, come you on. Did it. Oh my God, this has been a long time coming. Um, do you want me to do that? That was quite anticlimactic. <laughs> Wrong way. Upside down. I'm so nervous. I'm like sh shaking. Why are you nervous? What more have we got to do? I don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so it's a pull door then? Oh my god, it's warm! <laughs> warm. <laughs> We keep splitting a lot of poles. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Oh my god. We put a thing up on Instagram or like big announcement with a countdown coming in seven hours and the amount of people that have went, is it a baby? Oh, no. And we're like, no, not that. I know, it's not making that. me sad. But it's something else. <laughs> so we finally got ourselves all excited, but then the builder shows up and starts pointing out all of these problems. Just straight on top of Aye, but then... Um, I, I could put underlay under it to try and flatten it. It sounds like a cost I don't want to depending, pay for it. Depending on what you're putting down the floor wires, all these wee bits would show through your floor, eh? Things are going from bad to worse. We were told that that was water and waste, so we thought we could put a disabled toilet there. He's telling us I'm going to have to run pipes all the way to the other end of the salon. It's not cheap, I need to get the floor rebuffed and re-leveled, that's not cheap. And I am petrified, to say the least. I take it you won't want to take our photos now, down there, is it? No, we can't. Oh. We have to anyway. You don't want to take photos. You don't want Do to you? announce it. I want to announce it, but I want to announce it happily. It's meant to be exciting, and I don't want to announce but it. But you're not, you're not happy or excited. I'm worried. You've I know went you're putting it all on me, I'm though. I'm not, but you're acting like you don't want to do this at all now. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't think we can. We're freaking out. So what do we always do? Call Mum. Can't ruin your makeup. <laughs> right. So don't admit defeat before you start. I'm not. I'm just petrified, and I mean petrified. Right. So what's worrying you the most now? The cost. Right. So the bathroom's got to get moved. That that's a bit. That's fine. Like, that's not, piping. Yeah, I'm not annoyed about that. It's like three to six dollars per square foot to do the floor, and this is one thousand five hundred square foot. So scary, terrifying. Yes, but.
but there's always a solution. Sight. Don't want to be flashing out of the window. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you act something like Tetsuro? <laughs> you can always flash them anyway. <laughs> so you beat a fort, said Radio. Right, lovely. Right. Can we go on now? Yes. Obviously, there were a few things that she was potentially disappointed about, and she doesn't cope well with that. But she'll be fine, yeah, and she has to be fine. Full stop now. She has to be fine and uh, get on with her business. Mum's right, we really need to get our act together. And the best way to save money is to do the work yourself. It's all hands on deck. Brogan is going to be working at the salon as a nail tech, so her and her wife Demi have come along to help us. We owe them so much. And of course my mum can't help but come in and get her hands dirty. Charlie swoops in and saves the day as he's a DIY master and I just pop in and do all of the glory jobs. Oh, that's beautiful, that. Getting the salon ready for the launch party has been absolutely crazy, so it's been a while since I've caught up with Zach. I'm everywhere. Plumbers, joiners, deliveries, social media. I've not got a moment to myself. Have you applied for your gender certificate yeah. yet? That I finally decided to do it, because if I want to be a dad yeah. on the birth certificate, I need to have my gender changed, or I would be put down as a same-sex partner. I'm going to need to sit down. You're going to need to help me off. Know, it's I'm actually, it is dead confusing, man. They ask you for, like, three years' worth of, like, bank statements and utility bills with your new name on it. Um, and it has to cover, like, every couple of months. You also have to declare that you're never going to de-transition. Yeah. You have to stand up in court, man, and raise your hand and do a, do a little oath that you're telling the truth and nothing but the truth. You need to come to court roughly. I'm shit myself. Can I get a sweet chilli crispy wrap? <laughs> I thought that was a pregnancy test, Dutch. No, it's just I know, that's it. What? You get something to tell me. It would be a bit of Russian roulette who was the pregnant one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you change your gender, it changes things like your passport. Because you always get para, don't you, about, like, if you're going to fly and they look at you and your passport says, eh. So when I went to Cyprus, I took like, all my documents to say that I'd changed my name and my, like, on the gender of the deed pool. Did you really? Yeah, because I was terrified, because... See if they stopped me and I had to get, like, strip search or something. I'd be shit myself. Yeah. They'd be like, what the fuck, you're presenting, you look like a man, why is it female on your passport, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. It's quite scary, especially in a place like that. So it can change things like that. It's just you have to go through, obviously, your childhood and all that again. Mm. I don't like talking about things after, like, keep things in. What trauma do you have? <laughs> My mum used to put me in skirts. <laughs> that was a trauma. <laughs> The salon is really shaping up, and I'm on my way to go and meet some of our new staff before opening. Very excited to start working here. Coco is one of our stylists, and she's doing my hair ahead of the launch party. I'm so excited because she really is the best. I've worked in a lot of salons that say that they're diverse and safe for trans people to work, um, and that hasn't been the case. I got my first job in a salon 12 years ago this year, so it's 15. Um, and I actually transitioned while working in that job, which was not the most fun experience. No? No. <laughs> you know all those. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, because I had a story in the media um, with my sister. 
that was quite like sensationalized as well. So, so Coco and her sister are both trans, um, and they both came out at a similar time to each other. Imagine how horrific that would have been six years ago, before you know people were more aware of these things, and you came from a small town as well, didn't you? Props, props to you, props to you both. It was crazy. And I mean, like in Ireland, I would say it's, it's a couple of years behind. While I was there, I almost apologised for existing in front of people, and like that's who I was when I moved here. The first thing I ever noticed about Scotland was when I was in the taxi on the way from the airport to our accommodation, um, I think it was like Nicola Sturgeon came on the radio and it was like, trans people are safe here, we don't tolerate discrimination in Scotland. And that was the first thing I heard and I was like, I'm fucking home. <laughs> <laughs> Just as Coco says that Scotland is welcoming, there's been a massive backlash to the amendment of the Gender Reform Bill. The UK government is trying to block the Scottish Bill, which makes it easier for transgender people to self-identify as the gender they want. So there are counter-protests across Scotland right now, and I normally stay away from these things because I don't want someone screaming in my face that I'm not valid. But this is too important, and it's getting really frightening. You are loved, you are supported by the majority of Scottish people. <laughs> Really, self-identification makes no difference because I've already chosen to identify as a man. It doesn't matter if you give me a piece of paper or not. I think that's what these people who are so against the bill need to realise. Whether you give me it or not, I'm still going to use that toilet. Whether you give me it or not, I'm still going to marry my woman than stand there with a kilt. I won't have anything dangling under the kilt, but I'll be fucking standing there in a kilt, right? I won't be silenced. I want to turn up the volume. I've joined a marketing campaign for Jill, along with Zach and some other trans bros. Today's campaign is really about authenticity and about showing the realness of the patients. Great, Charlie. Well, the gender reform bill, I was actually quite disappointed because everything looked as if it was going in such a positive movement and there was a lot of positive press about it. Do you know what annoys me? It affects nobody but the person buying. Exactly. And I think the, the narrative that's been put forward by the media is playing on fears and they're unfounded fears. People would not feel comfortable watching me and him me walk in a toilet behind their five-year-old daughter. I would they feel threatened or anything, but I would, if I was in the ladies' took and blue and used to walk in, I'd be like, what's going on? Ah, exactly. <laughs> My daughter Chloe came out as trans. We've been going through this since Chloe was 15. She's now 20. We've overcome so many obstacles about getting her just to go out the house. Seeing how much of a setback that was off of something that was in the newspapers. And actually, on social media, people comment about things and, and they forget. So I've got friends of mine, family members of mine, yeah. commenting on this, completely forgetting about Chloe. And then when I've said to them, I was like, do you actually know what you're saying here? And she's like, I but Chloe's different. But, yeah, and you're like, but they're no, they're no different. Everybody's the same. Whether you're wealthy, whether you're poor, whether you're male, female, something in between, gay, straight, bi, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it's just great that there's such a supportive community and the guys are being really open about their surgeries and their experiences. So it's, it's really, really nice to see Zach and Charlie and Lee all together. I was so nervous of being used to. Oh, sure. I've, literally, no, I've been serious. I've watched you for like years. I'm 38 now. I transitioned. You said eight. Four years ago. Um, I, <laughs> you don't look that's nah. metal, isn't it? It's crazy. Um, I've been on T now for two and a half years, and I had my top surgery seven months ago, and it's been amazing. Like, Why did you wait so long in life? Were you just not in a comfortable position? Because my granny's a Jehovah Witness, <laughs> and I was terrified she was going to disown me. And like, she's like the most important person to me. So I, thinking that I was going to like upset her or something like that, like. It destroyed me. And then she started getting Alzheimer's. And my doctor basically just turned around and says, you can't keep putting this off. Like, you need to do something about it now or it's got to be you that regrets it. And, well, here I am. <laughs> so I 
as I say, everybody else has been amazing. My gran is actually in a wee confused state, like held my face and said, like, I always knew you were a good boy. No. And honestly, that's the like, best feeling, it's isn't been, it? No. It's been a crazy journey. I have a lot of younger trans guys that follow me on TikTok, and it's good to be able to show them that the hard times are not always going to be there. I never thought I'd be here at this age. I never thought I'd be here at any age because I didn't ever think I'd have the guts to actually like, yeah, yeah, eventually. So I say it everywhere, but I literally <laughs> couldn't do yeah, yeah. it. I am right <laughs> While Charlie's off making new friends, I'm off to the dentist to get a filling on one of my last remaining real teeth. I get so anxious at the dentist, okay. yeah, but I'm so glad I've got my mum with me. Let me get the door for you, madam. I like it better. Due to my compulsion with mints caused by my fear of sickness, the majority of my teeth are crowns. I'm down to my last three, soon to be one. I was happy when your first tooth came through and now like, I'm happy that you've got one left. <laughs> Get a picture of my teeth. I had those two taken out and then I need these two taken out. And then this was the one I got my filling on today. So you can see, like, these ones are, like, black on the inside. I was madly paranoid with Lauren's teeth growing up because I'd had problems with my teeth for one reason or another. So was always made sure that her dental health was good. She had regular checkups. We made sure that everything was tickety-boo. And um, then the mints came along. Um, you did hide mints from me when you were younger. And then all of a sudden, what was there, 34 cavities? 43. 43, oh good, yeah. excellent. I've got, yeah, just got it the wrong way round. You undercut me. Yeah, from going from a full healthy set of teeth and then having a, a mental health decline is nothing that anybody ever expects. However, she is where she is and the mouth is stable right now. <laughs> my tongue's numb. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Charlie. <laughs> Too much information, child. I love my mum so much. She's there for me no matter what I'm going through. And I really want to be a mum like her. Amazingly, Brogan and Demi are trusting us to look after Willow for a day. So this is going to be the ultimate test of our parent and skills. We're going to have fun. We're going to have so much fun. We'll walk it away so she can see That's fine. <laughs> right, well, thank you so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> this will be us one day. <laughs> So Lauren's going to have to be on emergency care while I still get some stuff done. Because the party is so soon. Wow. And this is the first time that I've ever babysat a child before. Um, I've always offered, but I think people are just worried because of the emetophobia. I feel like I'm all right with babysick. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. I love this child. She's so fun. I'll be back later, I promise. And we go park. <sighs> Bye. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. There you go. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh. Trigger warning if you're like me and have a metaphobia or don't like sickness, please look away now. She was just sick. Of all the times for Charlie to go out. <laughs> and he's not answering his phone. Oh no, you're gonna have to not touch them. No, I don't want it. Thank you though. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So it isn't okay? Guess who's been sick? Shut up, really. I'll just be that you because you were jumping about having so much fun, weren't you? Aren't you? You're not right. Look at that. 
I'm disappointed that my OCD kind of got in the way of having a fun day with Willow. But I'm really proud of how I dealt with it. I feel like mum instincts really kicked in. Lauren was in the room with her, was keeping it together in time for me to get home, and that gives me so much hope. I know we're going to be fine because we are a team and we're in this together. We are absolutely ready to be parents. Let's get this business open and this show on the road. Tonight's the night. I'm just excited to finally get it open because it means I can start properly planning my life. Family now, innit? Yeah, yeah, so obviously we've tried and failed some ways with babies so far, but once this is open and it's taking care of itself, when Lauren's pregnant, it's like I can be at home with her and we can have a business still running and bringing in money because she's going to need so much extra support. Yeah. Happy life, happy wife. Happy wife, happy life, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I notice it more, like, you're so much happier now. Like, oh, see, yeah. take compared to a year ago, like, that was probably a rock bottom. Oh, yeah. And see, now it's, like, a completely different person. Get back to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see me? Oh, absolutely. Wow, fucking hell, woman. Wow. <laughs> you look unreal. You look so good. Oh, you're taking the piss out of me. <laughs> oh, can I get a time check, please, somebody? 4.57. One hour, guys! This is what we've been waiting for, and I can't believe that it's finally here. My dad's here, my mum's here. We're all getting matching Booyah logo tattoos. Big V is pouring mad measures behind the bar. It's going to be a class night. I've been watching them for years and years. I've watched them from the start to now. I'm from Bolton, five hour drive. Worth it though. I've seen it all like get built and stuff like that, which was amazing. And now I can see it inside. It's even better than I thought. I'm so excited to be here. I have been looking for somewhere that was inclusive, somewhere that catered to my needs as a plus size person. The fact that they're willing to accommodate every type of person. I just want to thank everyone for being here, genuinely from the bottom of my heart. This place means so much to us. Looking at the variety of people in here, we couldn't have wished for more. Right. Okay. There is no way any of this could have happened without my mum. And just knowing that she's constantly cheering us on. Get up here. <laughs> Fruit hug. Thank you so much. I love much. you so much. You so much. Right, enough of this. Let's get on up. Nice. Come on. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. My name is Venus. I specialize in wigs, braids, and Afro styles. I just want people to know like, how special for me is this. I'm just so glad and grateful for all of this. <laughs> people think in the trans community and whatever else, we want more, we want what other people don't have. No, we don't. When we say trans rights or the rest of that, we don't want anything that anybody else doesn't have. Doesn't have. We exactly. just want the same as exactly. everyone else. Exactly. And to see a couple who are so in love, Working so hard, but also giving back to this community yeah. is massive. I mean, it's the first time that John and I have met, which is <coughs> just, it is, isn't it? The first time we've yeah, met. We're just both so proud. Yeah, we kind of just take a step back. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, amazement. Yeah. You know, I just feel happy, really happy, because I've not seen them like this for a long time. You've got so, my spark back, yeah. Right? Uh, they well, definitely have, like, seen a big difference in them. And it makes me happy, if he's happy. You're cute. Yeah. Indeed. I love him in bits. But my only son. I am a daddy's boy. <laughs> I was saying to Dawn that if I could have picked a boyfriend for Lauren, it would have been someone just like Charlie, and it is Charlie. And then I said, well, I couldn't have found a family to accept my son better than they did either, you know? That's one of your main worries when you find out is, like, who's going to love my child? Oh. Um, 
and then to find that not only do they love them, that they welcome them, that they support them, that they celebrate them even, and they're proud to be seen with them is just a gift that money can't buy. Now that the business is open, we'll be able to get a baby, get the framework for Hope the real so. life. I want to be a granddad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe get a ring on Lawrence's yeah, finger. Yeah, I will. Aye. I'm so proud of you, son. Absolutely love you, bitch. I love you too, Dad. We're making a safe space in this world that's a bit more welcoming so our kid can grow up to be exactly who they want to be. With the salon finally open, Charlie and I are going to the beach to reflect on our journey. I just can't believe, like, looking back from where we once were to where we are, it's like, it's crazy. Everyone says, like, buying a house, moving a house, starting a business and having a baby are the most three stressful things you can do. And Lauren Faulkner decided she wanted to do them all at the same time. <laughs> and little old me... It's ADHD. <laughs> little old me who can't say no. It's like, yeah, OK, anything that make her happy. So I think with relationship-wise, we've been through a lot. We're stronger than ever, though. Like, you know, we've had our moments, but very, like, minuscule in comparison to what could have happened. You are a glass half empty person and I'm a glass half, half full. full. She's like, well, I thought we would be in a different position and I'm like, well, I'm just happy we got here. Yeah. Obviously, we thought we would have had our own little family by now. Yeah. But I think we have created a family. Like, we've yeah. made so many new, like, friends as well, yeah. although they're colleagues, like, they've got so many new aunties and uncles lined up and so many babysitters lined up. I hope people look at our salon and think, oh, I could just add pronouns to the booking system and make these people yeah. feel safe or even, like, seen. Make these people feel seen, because right now I feel like we're all hiding. Whenever something goes wrong, it's blame trans people, and I will die on this hill. We make up less than 1% of the UK's population. Like, we're not, we're not what everyone needs to be worrying about right now. That was hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Having a baby was never going to be easy, but I'm so proud that we've laid the groundwork to be able to start that journey. For now, I'm really happy with our not-so-average family. <laughs> <laughs>